and we're going to go over a few ways on how we can start researching top companies. Once we have a few of our priorities um, listed, um, so what we want to do is start researching top companies for those priorities, right? So we'll take priority one, and I'm just going to shorten this to innovative, make it a little bit easier. Um, and so let's start with priority one, innovative. If we want to look for the most innovative companies, right? Um, what might be, does anyone have any resources on like, you know, different research methods they use to research companies or get information on companies? Um, whether it's innovative, right? We can look at compensation. I mean, really, we can really take any of these, but I like to hear from the class first on what are some things that, that you've been using so far that have been helpful? Um, yeah, Alvin, I'll go ahead and bring you on again. Yeah, so I'm yeah, very much in this area. So for innovation, basically, I looked at in terms of the companies that produce a number of patents. So you can easily figure out, you know, from Googling to see, you know, what particular companies, you know, have particular um, um, patents um, that they've already invented. So that's one aspect of innovation. And then the second one that I also look at, too, is um, the paper publications. So in terms of like what papers do they um, produce and what are the conferences that they publish to is it like top conferences or is it like medium mm -hmm. size like um you know like mid-level conferences um things yeah. like that so basically that's that's how i look at innovation is in terms of the kind of the um the output um in terms of how it influences the company and what yeah. other people see the company as yeah yeah um, that's great. Now, since it sounds like you've already done a lot of research in here, have you, what are some top companies that you've come across after doing your research? So, um, I looked at definitely Microsoft. Uh, so Microsoft has a research organization called Microsoft Research, and they basically do this kind of stuff that I mentioned about. Um, yep. Also, as well, Amazon uh, does a lot of work with academics. Um, I know some of the Amazon people that do that. Um, mm -hmm. Facebook also, also as well has a research uh, lab that they do kind of, kind of stuff too as well. Um, and mm -hmm. also definitely, uh, Google. So Google does a lot of this, you know, innovation and this kind of research where they do kind of this kind of, but, um, I think it's something like 80, 20 kind of, uh, split where you do, you know, 80%, you know, on your own particular work, but you have 20% that you can work on pet right. projects, you know, like, yes, yeah, I've heard so. of that. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Um, doesn't surprise me any of the companies you came up with, um, but yeah, I mean, that's a good route to go looking at papers, things like that. That's great. What about for compensation? If compensation is one of your priorities um, here. Yeah, sorry, Stephen, I see your hand up one second. Hi. Yep, go ahead. Hey, hi there. Um, so a couple of things, uh, you know, compensation levels.fyi is a very interesting website where yes. um, people submit their W-2s and, you know, you can kind of perhaps see something that's that's realistic. Glassdoor. Mm -hmm. Uh, for yep. a company, just looks like what's really going on behind, you know, behind the scenes in a company. Um, I'm curious if there's other places. I know um, Fishbowl, you know, might be kind of something like that as well. Yep, um, I've heard of Fishbowl yeah, too. You know, those are always with a bit of a grain of salt, right? But um, those are certainly interesting. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, thank you. And I, I'm glad you brought up Levels.FYI. It's one of my favorite resources, at least for compensation. Um, was there anything else, Stephen? Um, no, that's, that's uh, you know, well, oh, yeah, of course. There's always people, like people you yes. know, people, you know, exactly. <laughs> people who know somebody who's, uh, who's in a particular company. That's, uh, yeah. that off, you know, that's right up there as well, I'd say. That's probably going to be the most effective, you know, truthful way to get information. So, yeah. Um, yeah, thank you. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to go over levels.fyi. So for those of you who haven't seen this resource, it's a wonderful resource. Um, it compares, you know, tons of different tech companies. What it gives you an idea of is not only the salaries, but also the leveling, right? So what does an L5 equate to at Facebook? Looks like there might be some overlap with these. What does that equate to at Microsoft, right? Microsoft has tons of levels. Um, you know, you can also get an idea of how flat an organization is. So if moving up and getting promoted is really important to you, you know, maybe it looks like Microsoft is actually a better place to be than Google. You know, there's while they're wider bands, they look a little bit, you know, less actual promotion opportunities. Um, so you can like add in more here. So if we add, I work at Oracle, so just shameless plug, we'll add an Oracle, right? So we have, um, here's our levels compared to that. 
So if you want to dive in deeper, you can actually like click on this and it shows you the average salary, what you might expect in stock, as well as bonuses for an L6 at Google. Um, so Jay, do you believe yes. that level? Do you believe that levels FYI is accurate around comp? So I will say this: it is self-reported. Um, so I think that it is a very helpful tool, and I think that generally it it just like it's pretty accurate on the levels. Um, the compensation, since it is self-reported you're never going to get the most accurate data. Also, the market has been changing so rapidly. Like I have seen salaries just skyrocket lately. Like this market is just bananas. So I think um, don't, I think you can compare like generally who might pay a higher salary, generally where the levels are, but um, definitely don't take it as like, this is the data, right? Because it is self-reported, just like people putting comments in Glassdoor, right? They're, it's all self-reported. Um, you're going to have to use multiple sources to really get a good grasp on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can get a breakdown of the data that they have, how much is in stock, bonus base. You know, you can get an idea of, you know, some companies like Amazon, for example, like they really believe in giving you tons of stock, they might have a lower base, that might be okay, because the total comp might be higher. So um, this could just give you a guide on what to expect um, for some compensation. Glassdoor as well. I think most of us have probably heard of Glassdoor, um, but you can just type in whatever company, I'm obviously going to use Oracle. Um and you can get ideas on on the interviews, for example. So if you're going into interview, um, you know, a software engineer interview. Here we have 441 um, people that we can read reviews for, right? Um, and again, it's self-reported, but it could be good for interview preparation. Um, I think Stephen also mentioned Fishbowl. Um, I haven't used that one as much, but I've heard that it's also very helpful. Um, what other resources have people used to research companies? Anyone else? We got Alan is saying TechCrunch, um, the app or Play Store front page. Yeah, that's a really good one to see like who's the new, um, you know, tech people, you know, who's the new apps and everything. Um, Yahoo Finance, Twitter, the company's app. Alan, those are all really good, really good suggestions. I really like the app Play Store front page. That's a that's a great one. Um, and Alan also says Levels.fyi has a newsletter that they send out by verified. Um, verified by the company of salaries that people submit to them, pretty comparable to self-reported numbers. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks, Alan. That's great. Yeah, Crunchbase is another one. Uh, I like Crunchbase a lot. So we've identified our priorities, um, defined them, and then identifying some companies. Obviously, if you're not finished, you know, we have plenty of time to, you know, do this on your own time. The whole point of getting through that is to make sure that we have a targeted approach for applying to our dream companies. Um, we don't just want to be throwing out our resume everywhere because that typically is just not a lot of return on investment for your time. Um, so researching our priorities, um, we've gone over a ton of different things that we could do. Here they are written. So we have LinkedIn, just looking at their company page, Wealthfront, I'm not sure if we mentioned that one. Um, and also researching like their products and different projects that they're working on could be a really good way to, um, you know, if you're interested in like a specific type of product or project could be a great way. Um, you know, the, the specific company pages, um, you know, get an idea of their culture. So I think we came up with, um, with a lot of, of these great ideas. So, yeah.